I think this bike is important for a lot of reasons. People come on this team with absolutely no engineering experience at all, and they take on some of the biggest challenges there are in engineering today. This bike is RW3X. It's uh, the vehicle we spent this year developing. We are a college team, but we don't just compete against other schools. We're building this to race against professional teams with professional engineers and professional budgets. We went from throwing these bikes together um, you know, as fast as we could with very little thought, just whatever we had lying around went into them. It was this team that was competing against the very best at the Isle of Man. The way an electric bike works is you have your battery pack and that stores all of your energy. Uh, so that's your main power supply. And then in our case, that battery energy goes through our inverter, which changes it from DC to AC. And that inverter is also the controller, so it's the brains of the bike, and it tells the rest of the bike what to do. Then that current is sent to our motor, which uses the electricity to make torque. And what's cool about the powertrain is it's really efficient, right? Your IC engine is 25, 30% efficient at best, so most of the power you're making is actually going into heat. This system is you know, between 80 and 90% efficient total, so all that power is going straight into the wheel. There's no transmission on this vehicle, it's just a direct drive uh, to the rear wheel, so you get full torque across the line, you get the same torque at lower RPMs as you do at high RPMs, so that makes for a pretty, pretty cool experience for the rider and a pretty fast race bike. Once we started racing the Isle of Man, we started thinking about you know, what the limiting factors were and how we could build a better vehicle instead of just slapping stuff together. You're thinking, okay, well, this one system in the vehicle doesn't work. How can we fix it? But it's also about thinking on a very high-level system as well, where you think, okay, how does my subsystem fit in the rest of the vehicle? And what are the changes I make? How do those affect everything else around it on the bike? So I think one of the big challenges every year is just thinking on that kind of level, you know, not just tunneling into your one part of the bike, but really thinking about it as one unit and as one system. The vehicles just, I mean, they increase technology-wise exponentially.